This right here is the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE. This is going to get four bikes to and from wherever you want to ride, and it is going to accommodate for those fat tire bikes. So any wheel widths up to five inches, it's going to be able to work with it. And as you can see right now, we have a bunch of different types of bikes. You can have a full suspension bike on here. You can have a mountain bike on here. But also for those road bikes, this isn't going to be for your carbon fiber frame bikes because we do have frame contact. And for those electric bikes, it's not going to be the best because the capacity is 50 pounds. We do have another type of Hollywood Rack Sport Rider, which is 80 pounds per bike. So if you do have electric bikes and you don't mind the setup, go ahead and grab that, but it is gonna be limited to two. This one will convert into a two, but we'll get to that a little bit later. The one thing I do wanna point out, this thing is gonna be quite a beast to be able to tilt it away. It does have the capacity to do that, but with all these bikes on there, it's gonna be pretty tough. So it might be a two-man job, but I'm gonna attempt it for you so you know at home. There is a pin down low, and you really gotta push up on the rack for it to disengage and then you pull that little thing right there as you can see i had to get on the ground for that and that this is not a very light carrier either especially with no bikes on it. it's already 90 something pounds but we will be able to gain hatch access it all just depends though on your handlebars on the bike that's closest to your vehicle this is enough for me to grab whatever i need whether i need my golf clubs or anything like that but also you are gonna be able to fold back your back glass if you have a vehicle kind of like this. But that is not an easy task, just to let you know. And you kind of have to do it from back here because it's the most leverage that you're gonna get. So then to put it back up, we're gonna have to lift it. And then we're gonna have to somehow get that pin in place. This is most likely a two-man job definitely something the kiddos can't do on their own. So if I were to have a main negative thing about this one, it's just tilting it away. It's kind of, it's really tough. It's really tough, but you can get it done, but it's definitely a two man job. But let's just take this off real quick. We do have a little strap here. It's long enough for your fat tire cradles. And we do have a little rubber piece right here to protect your wheels from any scratches. It's not really long enough the rubber part to completely cover our fat tire rim but with your road bikes and mountain bikes it's totally fine we're gonna have one on each side and then one other thing that we had to do is the way these were kind of situated and the way the frames were on these two bikes we had to put this hook on for our blue bike right here first so to be able to get this fat tire bike off we're gonna have to take these off and then we can get down to this one. But notice how I can take these all the way off. So in the instructions, there is a little screw that you're supposed to put on top to keep the cap in place. I don't really think the cap's going anywhere. The reason why I take those hooks off or take the little screw out is so I can take these off. It's a little bit easier to do so. And if you do kind of situate your bike correctly. In some cases, you'll be able to kind of fold this down and it'll help you out. There's a little pin here. We're gonna fold this down. And once we take all of our straps off, we're good. But that's another thing I kind of ran into. There are some other bike racks that aren't really going to require you to really strategize where you're putting your bikes. So I would definitely recommend going with something. If you really do want my recommendation on a really, really nice rack that kind of blows this one out of the water, the Yakima Evo is a really good one, just because you don't really have to deal with that. At the end of the day, I just want it to be easy to use. And this one, it gets the job done, but it's a little tough sometimes. But this is a cool little time that I could show you that we can convert this down pretty easily. That is one thing that the Sport Rider SE does really well. So right here, we're gonna loosen this up, a couple turns, and then this little pin right here comes out. And then, in a matter of, I don't know, a couple seconds, we can turn it into the two bike version. So that's kind of cool. That is something that's pretty unique to this. A lot of the other add-ons are quite, 
a long process to convert over, but with the Sport Rider, it's really easy. So that is one thing that this one really brings to the table. For those longer bikes that you may have, 60 inch wheelbase is what the Hollywood Racks SC Sport Rider is gonna be able to accommodate for. What allows that is the cradles. So once we loosen these up a little bit, they are gonna be able to slide along all of this. Some racks don't come with locks, the Sport Rider does. So basically when we lock this into place, it's gonna lock this so you can't get the bikes off. So that's for every single frame hook. So all your bikes are gonna be locked on there and they are gonna be key to like down by the hitch, but we'll get to that in a second. What I'm wanting to do now before we start to fold this thing up, because it does have that feature, which is nice, is measurements. On your vehicle, take this measurement from the front face of your hitch receiver to the farthest point, it's gonna be 47 and an eighth of an inch. And then coming down to the closest part when it's folded down from the face of your hitch to here, is gonna be seven and a half inches. We can fold this up though. There's a little knob, the same one that I used for the tilt away. We're gonna pull that and lift it up. We don't have to do any pins or anything for this. And this is gonna cut down our length significantly. Now the farthest part is 17 inches and three eighths from the face of our hitch. And the closest part now is five inches. The anti-rattle is kind of nice because we don't have to mess with a threaded hitch pin. All you have to do is tighten this up when our pin's in place, and that's gonna make it nice and solid. And it is nice that they have a little bump stop here, so you don't really have to feel around in there to make sure that the holes are all lined up. This is kind of nice, but I'm gonna show you exactly what it's doing. Right now it's completely solid, but as I loosen it up, this is what anti-rattle is preventing, which is nice. So as I start to tighten this up, which I do suggest kind of rocking it back and forth whenever we're tightening this thing up. And now it's nice and rigid, so that's cool. And on the end of that hitch pin, it's really nice that it has the same exact key as all the frame hooks. And they do give you two, so you can keep one in a safe spot and then the other one in a safe spot. But they do give you two, which is nice. And a lot of the times these bike racks don't really come with that. So I do think it's nice that they threw that in there. At the end of the day, we want to ride. I think with this one, if you're okay with the frame hooks and you're not really too concerned about how difficult it is to tilt it away, I think this will be a good option for you. If you do want to go with a more cost-effective option, Kurt makes one pretty much exactly like this. I know it does limit us to 45 pounds instead of 50, but if you did want to go a little step further and grab the premium option of this, the Yakima Holdup Evo. It's gonna be a lot easier to load everything. It's a wheel hook, not a frame hook, so it's gonna be great for those nice frames that you may have. And it also kind of looks a little bit better, and it is a lot easier to tilt it away. So if you're wanting something that's a lot easier to load up for bikes, the Yakima option is definitely for you. If you want one that's not really gonna break the bank, go with the Kurt option. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is going to be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are going to be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. But well, that's pretty much it for our look at the Hollywood Racks Sport Rider SE for your fat tire bikes.